What's up everybody? Mark with Ecom Warriors here. Welcome to a new video. I know guys have been away from uh, YouTube for a little while, but I'm, I promise you guys I'm back. I'm going to make some videos here uh, a little slowly, but I promise I'll give you guys something. So today we're going to be talking about how to make a lookbook. We're going to be talking about the benefits of a lookbook and, uh, you know, kind of how to set it up, right? So let's talk about it. So you guys can see here I have this little store that I made for demonstration purposes. And you can see here I have uh, this product called Microfactor, OptiGreens, and Opti Opti Reds, right? These are the three products that are going to be um, our lookbook products. So let me just delete this test product here. Uh, so, so that we could just get it out of the way and uh, where's the delete button here we go delete products and uh, yeah so what how we're gonna set it up we're gonna click on online store here and we're gonna go ahead and customize our store now the theme that I'm using is the wolf of Shopify theme you could grab it by clicking my link in the uh, description box down below and also use my discount code so uh, you know, you guys already know I'm a big proponent of this theme. There's a lot of settings. I know it could be a little complicated, so I might as well just make this video showing people how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to hit this little add section button. Now, depending on which demo you've uploaded and things like that, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff over here. Um, sometimes I just like to delete everything just to get started. Sometimes I like to use the pre-built templates. It just depends on the store and the products and things like that, right? So let's hit load more here and you're going to see this thing that says lookbook one or lookbook two so lookbook one okay is really made for like large type image products and i'll just show you kind of how it looks so um if i hit add slide here right you see how big the image is for us you guys saw it was supplements it was a small type image so lookbook one is not going to work for us okay uh for me lookbook two is going to work so let me just delete lookbook one and let me go over here to add section and load more and let's look for lookbook two all right let's hit add and so i'm gonna hit add slide lookbook and you can see here the slide now is a little bit different so it's like smaller and i'm gonna hit select image now the images that i have here i'm gonna have to actually go back and upload the certain product but just for purposes sake if i just click on this image you could see here it fits within the uh certain I guess you could say width of that image, right? So if I just hit select here and select product number one, I could select from the different products that I have optional. So let's say I click on micro factor here. You could see the number one is here. And if I click on it, let me just save my progress so you guys can see what I mean when I click on it. When I say click, let me show you guys what I mean here. Just wait for it to load. Okay. When I click on this like little number one, it will show the supplement micro factor like it'll pop up do you guys see what i'm talking about um so this is just an example of what a lookbook looks so um let's just uh real quick let me just pause the screen let me download these images one more time and drag them into the uh, file manager for shopify and we'll get this baby set up okay as you guys can see i saved the images here on my computer so let's go back and hit customize and let's what we're going to do is we're going to go to the lookbook here and instead of this like image with the dumbbells we're going to uh, literally change it so i'm going to just remove this and i'm going to select an image and i'm going to upload the images that i just added so this one this one and this one right so i have all three products here so you can see here now this is a lookbook of the actual products and see how cool that looks it's like this product right i hit select and let's add another slide and I add another image. So these are just images right now. Okay. And then I go back to the third slide and I add another image, right? And I could actually organize like the pathway. Like if I like this one in the middle better, I could do that, right? That looks a little more fancy, right? And we go over here to number two or image number two, and we have to select product number two. Now we could select product number one, but it's going to say number one twice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select um, number two here, which is the product micro factor, right? So if somebody clicks on it, they're going to have the micro factor product. Okay. And number three, let's go back here um, and go on the third product, which is this Opti Greens one. Let's hit select product. Okay. I clicked the wrong one. Let's go over here to product number three. Okay. 
and let's click on this green one here and set it up. So you could see here the difference. Now you're going to have to actually edit your image to make sure it fits properly. Like you see how this number three here is not on top of the product or this number one is right on the product. You have to make sure you do your own editing to make sure that it fits. For me, it's generally not a big deal. I could care less, um, but you could do up to like five images. So that's just an idea. Now you guys see this little like circle with the line through it, like in gray. This right here is just representing that there's no background so i could if i want to effectively have a background image that's like fully white um like let's say i pick let's say this background this is gonna be a terrible background but you guys see what, what i mean by that um or if i want to have this as my background i could do that or this right you could set up like an all white background if you really wanted to like if i just search um or if i just search uh let's just search white let's see what comes up Okay, like if I search this image, this is when I search white, this pops up. You guys see what I'm saying? But obviously I would want something that's all white, okay, because I, I just think it would look better with this theme. Um, or with this, excuse me, not with this theme, but with the way the products come together and they look. Um, so let me just go ahead and once again, pause the computer screen. Let me upload a picture of a white background. Okay, so I just uploaded a picture of a white background. You guys could see here. It's all white. I'll hit select. And that little, like, gray box with the line through it is gone because I added a background image. If I hit remove, it will come back. You guys see what I'm saying? So this represents that there's no background. Now, I could have a few slides in there. Um, and you can see here it says no image. But for me, guys, I personally recommend, guys, for conversion optimization. This is what I just tend to find. And obviously, this is not law. Everybody has has different circumstances but um three products in a lookbook is enough you don't want to overdo it because then people will be a little bit too distracted um three products that you want to showcase is enough now give it give your title give something you know nice don't write spring lookbook write something interesting like um like check out our new products or something cool like that right check out our new products basically what i'm trying to say is don't be a copycat uh tr write something else that's a little bit better uh that fits your needs a little more it says browse our website for the hottest items in the marketplace and then we have here our products now with our products um let's just go ahead and make sure we test them to see if they're linked properly right because we did do the linking and just for the people who don't know for example like micro factor here if we scroll down it says select product number two and it's micro factor right and we have the image uploaded here so let's just uh do a little test run and let's see how it works so let's hit this one button and the one is connected the opti reds is connected to microfactor so we know how to change that by the way if you ever see this x and it's like a grayed out image it's because the product is out of stock so that's just to be aware of that um same thing here so this is microfactor and then this is also opti green so let me go back here and let me change the first one it should be connected to opti reds right instead of opti greens or microfactor so it's now it's properly connected and now let me just go into the product stock and make sure the product is in stock so it looks good now so let me just wait for it to save fully save let's wait for this green bar all right let's go back to our store let's go to products and let's change our um our stuff here let's change what we're what's going on so in stock let's just change microfactor to uh stock of let's say 20 um, so let's go with 20 here and I don't believe, let's see here, uh, let's make the cost, we, let's make the cost 10 bucks for this and let's make the next product 10 bucks also. And I don't think I connected my payment details to the store, obviously, cause I'm really not selling anything. So it might not fully work. Um, but you know. We're going to try this anyway. So let's go ahead and go back to our preview here. Let's preview our store. Let me get rid of this little download bar here. Let me scroll down and let's hit this little button. And there you go. So it says buy now 10 bucks and it shows the image. This one buy now uh, with the price. Pretty cool. And here this one is all grayed out. It says ten dollars. But I don't know if we edited the stock. I'm not sure if we did. Yeah, so we didn't edit the stock, and that's why it's all. It looks a little weird here. Um, so let's just go ahead and edit the stock, and let's let's add. Let's put four in stock or three, 43, whatever. Right? It doesn't really matter what number I put. But let's go ahead and refresh the page, and let's click on the number. And clearly, it didn't save yet in time. So let's just make sure this is okay. It's saved. 
and let's just refresh one more time let's just make sure it's fully working and there we go it's working so we have the option of buy now when we hit the buy now button it will automatically add it to our cart which is totally epic all right and we can either go to the cart or we can check out let's say if the customer decides not to like you know not interested anymore um but they're just walking around or looking around they could hit the little cart button and then boom it's a slider cart which is totally epic and they could hit the checkout now button it will take them straight to the checkout page which like i said i'm not sure if it will work because i did not connect my payment details so let's just find out uh here yeah so that's that's really it all right so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this lookbook video how to create a lookbook on um uh shopify and if you guys have any questions on this uh leave them in the comments down below all right i'll talk to you guys later peace